Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I am gonna go over my morning skincare routine. So, I know I've been saying I'm gonna do this video for like two months, so here we are. I'm gonna go through all of the products that I use in the morning. I do try to keep my morning skincare routine pretty simple. There's five products that I use in the morning and then typically my evening routine is a little more involved. And that's just because when I was working, I just didn't have the time in the morning, right? By the time I do an elaborate skincare routine and then all this makeup and hair, <laughs> you know, how early can you get up for a job? So I do try to keep my mornings a little more simple and just products that I know work for me. If I'm gonna try a new product, unless it specifically says to use it in the morning, I tend to add it in at night. And again, just because I have more time. So a couple of disclaimers, or I guess just really one disclaimer. This is what works for me. It may not work for you. And if you are gonna try any of these products, please do so with caution. You can really irritate your skin, and if you disrupt your skin barrier, it can stay irritated for a long time. It can take a long time to get that back. So I'll let you know what I use. If you're going to try any of this, please do your own research and try to really just go in maybe one product at a time, try it one day, and then not, you know, don't use it for a few days to see if your skin reacts. So a little bit about my skin. Just so you know where I am coming from, I'm 48 years old, so mature skin. I have dry skin. I've actually always had dry skin, even as a teenager. As a teenager, I probably had normal skin, so that was nice. I didn't suffer with acne or anything as a teenager, but my skin just keeps getting drier and drier and drier as I get older. And I live in Canada, and I live in a, one of the prairie provinces. So it is dry, it is cold, there are extreme weathers here, both summer and winter. We can get real, real hot and we get real, real cold. And our humidity here is, it's desert-like. So there's no real moisture in the air most of the time. And so that's real hard on my skin. So I go in with quite a few serums and a lot of hydrating products. And so for me that works and my skin can handle it because again, I have dry skin and I live in a dry environment. I also have very, very sensitive skin and very reactive skin. So my skin doesn't really want me to use like anything active. It would be happy if I would just like kind of wash and moisturize and that was it. Because it's just, it, it's very, very sensitive skin. So I do have to be careful. And I also am prone to eczema. I have eczema mostly around my eyes right now, my neck, I think you can see I've got some redness here. I'm prone to eczema. I'm prone to eczema everywhere, but mostly on my face. <laughs> like why anybody would want that? <laughs> Put it on my tummy. I'm not walking around showing people my tummy. Anyways, no, it's on my face. So sometimes I do go in with a steroid cream that's from the doctor. I try not to use that all the time. I try to just listen to my skin. When my skin is really acting up, I ease off the actives. When my skin is a little bit more tolerable, you know, then I go in with more actives. Although I will say for the most part, this morning routine, I don't alter. These are all products that my skin fairly well tolerates. Okay, and then what I've had done, so I get Botox. I've had Botox done regularly for probably the last eight years, I would say, pretty consistently. I was going every four months, but now I go probably twice a year. I get a lot of Botox, you guys. I get my forehead done. So you can see my forehead, it doesn't really move. <laughs> like that's me really trying to. So I get it in the middle, I get the forehead, I get my uh, crow's feet done and then I get some down here because I'm really prone to like a pinching almost down here like I I think you can even see when I talk like I get a lot of a lot of movement down in here so I do get some Botox down in here now I get 64 units in total which sounds like an enormous amount but when I look at what she puts in it's a unit or two in kind of 30 spots like it's not a lot in each spot she just does a lot of spots and then i do get lip filler lip filler i'm not as consistent with one because it's expensive and two because it's unpleasant and so i went i think almost a year this last time without having lip filler in i do i get one full unit one full unit one full syringe i get one full syringe of filler 
and I had that done about a month ago and then when I got the lips and the Botox done that same day again about a month ago for the first time I had jaw filler done and I had some filler put here so I'll link that video in case you're curious to watch it just a warning I go into detail and you will see me you know looking pretty beat up for <laughs> some of that video so I'll link that video in case you want to see it so that's the first time I'd had face filler and again I had my jawline done and I had some put in here as well so yeah I have that whole video you can go watch that if you're curious those are the things that I have had done this skincare routine that I currently have I've probably been doing it for I want to say about eight years I really started noticing the signs of aging around the age of 40 maybe a little bit before but I think 40s when I really thought okay well we better get serious about this I also for a lot of years I didn't wear sunscreen even now I wear daily sunscreen religiously but for a lot of years I didn't so yeah what else did I want to touch on I think that's it so this has been the routine that I've been doing consistently for yeah probably about eight years I was initially introduced to skincare from Angie on hot and flashy love her I'll link her channel below she is a wealth of skincare knowledge like just so much knowledge and so if you watch her and have seen her routines you will notice my routine is probably pretty similar to hers um, and that's just because that's you know she was sort of the first person that introduced me to skincare and this I've been using this routine and this routine works and I'm a creature of habit and so I rarely mess with it like almost never <laughs> so I, I have done skincare videos before um, and it's pretty much the same honestly a few a few changes but really if you've watched those other videos you will know that this is not much different from those the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is I cleanse now I haven't always cleansed it used to be that I would just use a face cloth and some warm water but what I find is if I go in with this CeraVe hydrating cleanser first and this is also what I use at night it just removes that nighttime skincare that's left on a little easier and so that's why I do it it's just a little gentler on my skin so I go in with one pump of this spread it out on my face this is one of my favorite products I absolutely love this cleanser it's so nice for my irritating skin my skin that just loves to be irritated this does not at all irritate it I feel like I could put this on and even leave it on and my skin wouldn't be irritated it's not stripping it's not drying it's just lovely so I go in with that first and then not always but right now I go in after that and I use this new face device now I have had this for a lot of years probably three or four years I want to say somewhere around there I love the new face device it's a microcurrent device and I this this I got off Sephora the only thing people ask I've had people ask me is it worth it it's worth it if you'll use it do I see results yes but you have to use it every day or at least five days a week I would say and so when I was working full-time I didn't really use this because it was just one more thing to add in but now that I'm currently not working I do use it and I do use it almost every day it takes about 10 minutes which doesn't sound like a lot of time but those all those little 10 minutes add up and so again when I was working you know if I was gonna do the new face or sleep an extra 10 minutes sleep always one <laughs> so I didn't do this when I was working but I am using it now I have been using it now for quite a few months actually and pretty consistently and I use it with this Cosrx product this is the advanced snail 96 mucins power essence and you need to use this with some sort of conducting gel now new new face does sell a conducting gel but it's more expensive than this this serum I love just on its own as a standalone product I love it because it's hydrating snail mucin is an ingredient my skin loves it's in a lot of k-beauty brands I don't see it so much maybe in more North American brands but it's a fantastic product if you have dry skin so I go in first with this I just get the I order this off Amazon and I that's that's the conducting gel that I use with the new face and this takes me about 10 minutes every morning and I do try to do this most mornings right now because I'm not working and I have the time but this is only worth it because this thing is like four hundred dollars and again I do see results but only worth it if you are gonna use it if you're only gonna use it once a week I don't think you'll see the results you really need to be pretty consistent with this okay and then after I'm done with the new face I just pat that snail mucin off a little bit I don't rub it in because it can 
be a little bit pilling. So I don't necessarily wash it off and remove all of it, but I do go in with my washcloth and I just sort of pat to pick up any excess. And then I go in with my vitamin C serum. So I love this product from Timeless. This vitamin C serum, I think is one of the best on the market. Now I have researched a lot of vitamin C serums. If you're familiar with SkinCeuticals, this is one of the closest products to that CE Ferulic from SkinCeuticals, which I've never used, but I'm sure it's wonderful. And if you, if that's in your budget to use, you know, medical grade, I don't even know medical grade, but that's that price point for skincare, great, but it's not in mine. My skincare needs to be affordable. And so I go in with this product from Timeless, which I love. Now this is the large bottle and I dispense this out. So I order it in this four ounce size and it comes like this. It is in an airtight pump, but I keep this in this container, in the box, in the back of my fridge away from light. And the reason I do that is because vitamin C oxidizes and once it oxidizes, it's no longer working for you. And so I want to get the full, this, this lasts me about six months and I think it's $80 US. I'll have everything linked below with pricing so you know. But I buy it in this size because it's the best value and I wait for Timeless to have a sale. They have 40% off sales all the time, at least every couple of months. So I try to time it, I watch and I wait <laughs> and I buy this when I can get it 40% off. So at, at $80 regular price, but then I get it 40% off. Now keep in mind in Canada, I have to pay exchange on that and our, do our dollar is in the toilet. So it it's, you know, becomes a little more expensive and their shipping is expensive. So that's why when I get it 40% off, I end up paying kind of $80 Canadian, roughly, right? That's sort of what it works out to at 40% off. So this is the vitamin C that I go in with and I keep it just in one of these bottles from the ordinary that I have that's extra in this dark glass. And this is what it looks like. You can see it's almost clear and it's water-like and it goes on just like water. So you can see it is very, very thin and it is immediately absorbed into my skin. Love that product. I think there's, there's, I say this in all these videos, but there's really, I think four ingredients that are the most important. Vitamin C in the morning followed by a sunscreen. Those, that's really all you need. And then, then in the evening, I think a niacinamide and some sort of retinol product, if you can tolerate it, as you can tolerate it. Those really, I think are the four most important ingredients. Vitamin A, I, I saw Dr. David Lim on YouTube one time say, the most important ingredients are vitamin A, vitamin B, and vitamin C. Vitamin A is your retinol, vitamin B is your niacinamide, and vitamin C, right? And then sunscreen. And I think that if you did those four steps, you know, two in the morning and two at night, you would see dramatic changes in your skincare. So let's talk about what vitamin C does. When I think about the vitamin C, I always think about collagen because it really helps with collagen production. And as we age, that collagen and elastin that keeps our skin kind of firm and plumped, we lose that, right? So I go in with the vitamin C because it helps with collagen production and it also helps brighten. It really brightens your complexion. And my morning routine is all about antioxidants because antioxidants offer protection from environmental stressors. So, you know, sun damage, pollutants, things that you come into contact with in the day, the antioxidants help protect your skin from those and vitamin C is an antioxidant. Okay, so on the Timeless website, I always like to read what they say, right? So the benefits of this product are that it brightens dull complexion, promotes healthy cell turnover, helps maintain and prevent uneven skin texture and tone, stimulates collagen production, and provides protection against environmental stressors. So all of those things I saw dramatic, dramatic results in my skin when I added these things in. I will just say that. Vitamin C, love it. So that's the one that I use. And then after the vitamin C, I go in with another timeless product. This is the Coenzyme Q10. 
and it contains water, Matrixyl 3000, ubiquinone, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, aloe, vitamin E. I love with Timeless that it's just listed right there. There's no fragrance, there's no fluff. You just get what you get. So I have this small bottle that's quite old actually. And again, what I do is I buy the four ounce size and I dispense it out. Now the, the coenzyme Q10, you don't need to keep in the fridge. I just keep it, you know, in a cupboard. But I absolutely love this product. It is one of my absolute favorite, favorite serums. It's kind of this little bit milky yellow color, but it is quite light, little bit thicker than water. This is so hydrating. My skin loves this, absolutely loves this. It's so hydrating for my skin. It just feels good. Every morning when I put this on, it just feels good. And just like that, it's, it's absorbed in. And again, my skin absolutely loves that product. So on the Timeless website, they say it is a powerful antioxidant, which again, that's what I'm after, right? So it's another antioxidant. It minimizes visible signs of aging, helps restore skin's firmness and texture, repairs damaged skin, protects skin cells against damage from free radicals, and stimulates production of healthy skin cells. Now, I do think the Q10 in this is an ingredient that's been around for a really long time and is very well studied. So I love this. Again, these, these two serums I've been using, I would say probably about eight years. Okay, so after those two, I go in with this product from The Ordinary. Now this is the resveratrol 3% plus 3% ferulic acid, another antioxidant. And right now The Ordinary is having a sale. So they have Slovember and it's 23% off all The Ordinary products. I did just recently film a whole video on stuff I love from The Ordinary, so I'll link that above. Now this product is also very, very light and liquidy but it does, it is a little bit oily. Like it's like a very thin light oil. And so that's why it's third in my routine because I don't want to put this on and then go in with my other serums because I don't want that oil barrier there. Look, look at look how nice the back of my hand looks right now. So hydrated and so I, I don't really have anything on the other one so you can see there. I use about four drops, three to four drops of that product, and I absolutely love it. Again, it's another antioxidant, and so I add it in. And I have been using that one for a very long time as well. But I will say this about that resveratrol. My mom tried to use it, and she had lots of irritation with it. So do be a little bit careful if you give that one a try. Okay, let's see what The Ordinary says for this product. It's a light, oil-like serum for daily skin protection from the impact of oxidative stress. Using two well-known antioxidants, this formula helps protect your skin from the visible effects of damage caused by environmental stressors, visible signs of aging, and helps it look brighter and smoother. I've been using this serum a long time and I absolutely love it. So that's kind of the three serums that I go in with and then I go in with an oil and right now in the morning I'm going in with this one also from The Ordinary and it's their 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. It is one of my favorite if not my favorite oil from The Ordinary. I'll show you what this oil looks like. It's a pretty light oil. It does as I've said before, it does have a slight rose scent, but it's it's pretty minimal, and it's a true rose. Like, it's so subtle. I, I can smell it, but it's, it's very subtle. I absolutely love this oil. I go in with an oil morning and night, again, because my skin is so incredibly dry. So this is the one I'm currently using in the morning. I have used an argan oil, and I do like argan oil as well, but my skin really loves a rose hip seed oil, so that's the one I'm going in with right now. And then the last thing I do, of course, is a sunscreen. This is my favorite sunscreen. I have been using this, again, for probably about eight years. I've tried others. But I just keep coming back to this. I love this. This is from Australian Gold and it's the Botanical 50. Uh, it's an all mineral sunscreen. I use an all mineral sunscreen because chemical sunscreens really irritate my eyes, like especially my eczema around my eyes. I'm not at all happy when I use some sort of chemical sunscreen. There have been chemical sunscreens that are mixed, like a half and half, chemical and mineral that I've been able to use, but mostly I just use this one. I have, again, tried others over the years, but I just keep coming back to this one. And I think everyone who's ever asked me that I've recommended this to, 
you they use it and they love it it's fantastic and it does come I think in three different shades I have the one for fair to light and I think there's a light medium and then I think there's a medium to dark maybe so you can see it is tinted there but it's a pretty light tint I feel like it's a tint that is just ever so slightly you know perfecting it you can't really see it on the skin that's it kind of all blended in there so it's pretty light and it does blend in nice and I don't get a white cast with it but then I am fairly pale so there you go you guys there is my morning routine it's it is pretty quick and easy once I get going um, it probably takes me 15 minutes wash 10 minutes of that is the new face honestly like if I don't do the new face I'm in and out in five minutes quickly wash Apply, I don't wait, I just apply one right after the other, apply my sunscreen, and then I do let my sunscreen sit for as long as I can. Like if I can, 15 minutes, great. Again, when I was working, no, <laughs> I didn't have 15 minutes. So I would just, sometimes I'd do my skincare and then do my hair and then do my makeup. Um, so anyways, but right now, of course, I'm not working. So I can, I can let this sit for probably about 15 minutes and then I go in with my makeup. All of my makeup sits beautifully on top of these products. I have no issues for the most part. Um, some primers, I'm, I got a primer right now in my shop, my stash that just picks this up and moves it all over my face, regardless of how long I let it sit. But that's, I think, a problem with the primer because that's rare. I rarely have that happen. And yeah, so I have had, I've heard people say they find this drying. I don't find this drying because I've gone in with four serums, three serums and an oil. And so I don't find this drying and it just sits really nice on my skin and it doesn't irritate my skin. And I get this off Amazon. The Timeless products I order from Timeless. The Ordinary products I order from The Ordinary. The CeraVe cleanser I get from the drugstore. None of these things are expensive. It's, you know, that's totally relative to what your view on expensive is. For me, this is affordable and that's what I wanted. I wanted effective, affordable skincare. I cannot afford to get all of my skincare from La Mer, <laughs> like I can't, or Shot to Kai. Would I love to try those things? Sure, absolutely. Not in my budget, not in my budget. This is my budget, this is where I'm at. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that was helpful, informative. I hope maybe it inspires you to try a serum that maybe you haven't tried before. If you do, let me know. Let me know how it goes, if you see good results. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you think I'm missing something in this morning routine, leave it down below. I know a lot of you are really into skincare and know a lot about skincare. I would love to hear from you down below if you think there's something I'm missing in this routine that would really be beneficial. I'm very much prone to discoloration, melasma, hyperpigmentation, things like that. I'm not so much prone to acne, although in honor of this video, I did wake up with a pimple, so that's fun. <laughs> Why? Why was that necessary? 48 years old. Um, but, but normally I'm not prone to pimples. So yeah, I would be, I would love to hear any recommendations down below. Again, I don't tend to order expensive skincare. Sephora is really not a place I get my skincare from. Although I would be willing, you know, if you think there's something that is worth that splurge, I would definitely be willing to try it. I've, I've missed the sale though, with the sale just finished a couple days ago. So there you go, you guys. There's my morning skincare routine. I will film another video with my evening skincare routine. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, that would be amazing. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.